Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Addicts to Victory here. And today we have two big games. One against third place Nottingham Forest and one against fifth place Crystal Palace in a South London derby. Two big fixtures and going into them we have been on some tremendous form I must say. Looking at the schedule last episode the 2-0 loss to Brentford and since then five games five wins. Our new sidings have been flying against Luton a 2-1 win than Enlandulu getting two goals and Gabriel Vidovic the star so far I must say him and Enlandulu getting an assist there. Followed up with a wonder win against league favourite Sheffield United with Gabriel Vidovic getting his first goal for the club for the victory. Sheffield United predicted to win the league but we beat them and then we after that a 2-0 win against Oxford. Pajeta and Vidovic scoring again. A 1-0 win against Holven, 93rd minute winner from Charlie Colkett coming off the bench. And then most recently against Millwall. What a game this was, I must say. 2-0 down after 49 minutes. A tactical change, we went more attacking. And one of the key things, Gabriel Vidovic went from centre mid to right wing. Enlund, Dan Enlandulu getting two goals, both from Vidovic assists within two minutes. And then in the 73rd minute, Gabriel Vidovic scored. An absolute incredible goal. Uh, and that leads into their games, like I said earlier, against Forest, against Palace, two big games and two teams right at the top of us, but we sit at the tippity tippity top of the table. Eight games, six wins, two draws, no defeats so far. I'm speaking way too quickly going into this episode. 20 points. Dan Ndudu, second top scorer in the league. Vidovic, highest average rating. The lads are flying. Vidovic, I must say. 7.82 average rating. Five games, three goals, three assists. Off a 0.35 XG as well. The Croatian youngster in his first loan move has done amazing. Playing at the Mazala, playing on the right wing when needed. So pleased with him. In addition, other player playing... Everyone's been playing really well, honestly. Uh, got a look at Red Stots as well. New signing from Greece on deadline day. 1.8 million. Putting in good performances. His partnership at the back with the German Martel. Been really solid defensively. This is how the team's looking for the first game of the episode against Nottingham Forest. Solid team. A few changes to the previous game. I'll just, you know, it's coming in goal. Back four of Byram, Retzos, Martel and Manning. Dobson DM with Rashel and Takahiro Nakai coming in for his first start of the season, I do believe, as his partner. Uh, which complements Vidovic going out wide to the right from centre mid and Placheta switching from the right to the left with Enlundulu up top as the lone striker. Team's playing really, really well. Uh, the changes I made, Judson Sutbell hasn't been playing well, so try and Placheta on the right. Vidovic played really well on right wing last game when I switched him there, so starting in there. Nakai coming in because he's just really good, so I thought I'd give him a shot. And hopefully a good performance against Forest here. Try and keep our spot at the top of the table. Brian for Chelwin here, Sam Byram in the Forest half gets to Tarashan, Vidovic, Dobson and Lundulu through ball to Vidovic. Round is the defender and curls it into the back of the net. 12 minutes gone, Schultz on one, Forest nil. And it's that Enlundulu Vidovic link up. Usually it's Vidovic passing to Enlundulu to score. This time Enlundulu plays in Vidovic. And playing on the right wing from the start here, curls it in with a corner. Rashel plays it in. And Red Sots is there, but he heads just wide of the post. But the score, Schultz on one, knowing a Forest nil here. Byram with the throw to Dobson. Red Sots, Rashel, Byram. Bam, gets it to Vidovic. Vidovic, out wide to Byram again, to Rashel. Dobson, through to Vidovic, heads it on to Enlund. Dulu, who pokes it into the bottom corner. It's not going to be a Vidovic assist. It was McKenna's head back in the end, but Enlund Dulu's there to tuck it home. And we double our lead at, against Forest here. Half time at the break, Shell and 2, Nottingham Forest nil. We're winning on the day. They're winning the battle of who has the more attractive looking kit because that kit is lovely, isn't it? The dark blue with a little bit of, is that pink? beautiful but that's not what this is based on is it it's based on goals and we've got two of them Vidovic and Enlundulu the stars for us so far this season getting one apiece as we take this 2-0 lead into the second half and Takahiro Nakai not having the best game as we hit the 50th minute so we're going to take him off and we're going to bring on Charlie Webster coming back into the squad on loan here last season coming back on loan this season getting his first appearance because he is a very good player Nakai is not playing the best and Thomas Tuchel did call me up and give me a little bit of verbal abuse for not playing him. So he's in the squad. He's coming on. But it's Forrest going forward here. Baba to Ramsey. Whips in the cross. Dobson heads away well. Baptiste picks it up though. To Ramsey. Ramsey to Carvalho. To Baptiste. 
Switches it to Conti on the right-hand side. And Conti taking it forward to Fredericks. Fredericks out wide to Conti. Conti to Baptiste. Baptiste. Throw ball to Conti again. Conti refusing to cross. But he's got it again. Baptiste. Finds it to Ramsey. Carvalho. Through ball to Gelhart, who smashes over the bar, thankfully. Score stays 2-0. Baba to McKenna. Forrest moving the ball around their back. Norwood goes forward now to Raul Mahou. In behind, his shot saved well by coming out for a Nottingham Forest corner here. Which Carvalho's going to take. I'll make a change after. And goes every other, over everyone. And Flechetta watches it go out for a Charlton throw. And that's when we make our substitute. Uh, Retzos playing well, but the, the Greek centre-half quite tired. So Martel goes to that ball-playing defensive role that we had him at the start of the season. And Dinel Samayu is going to come on into the central defensive position instead. Vidovic tired. Good game. But he is tired. I'm tempted to take him off. I will. He's had a good game, but he's going to come off. Flechetta going to switch to that side. A bit more supportive role. Vidovic going to make way for Edwin Anderson. Edwin Anderson uh, playing inverted wing at support as well. Corner. Carvalho whips it in. McKenna. His header at the near post finds its way into the net. And Nottingham Forest pull one back here. 2-1 as we enter stoppage time. And as the full-time whistle, Forest scored in the 90th to pull one back. But it does not matter in the end. Because in the end, Shelton come out the 3-2 victors. Uh, thanks in large part. I mean, Vidovic and Enlandulu doing it on their own, really. Enlandulu with a goal and an assist. Vidovic with a goal. And nearly an assist, but an assist goes instead to McKenna, who scored for Forrest. So McKenna got a goal and an assist today. Good for him. Uh, and Lindulu gets man of the match, however. A solid performance from him. No complaints for that. Uh, well, I think Retsos actually has picked up man of the match. Retsos and Enlandulu, you both did well out there. Happy with that. Byram had a good game as well. A good win and a good start to this episode as we keep our spot at the top of the table we remain two points clear of second west brom now we go five points clear of forest a game in hand on west brom as well it's looking quite comfortable surprisingly at this stage of the season for us uh, but next up is going to be tough because we have a game against crystal palace crystal palace currently six points behind us but a game in hand so they win the game in hand they beat us they go above us and i don't want crystal palace of all teams to go above us <laughs> And Crystal Palace end up winning their game in hand. Watford scoring in the first minute, but then Palace scoring four, including two in the second half. Stoppage time for a 4-1 win, putting them three points behind us. So, it's, it's very simple. We win, we stay top of the league. We draw, we could stay top, we could drop below West Brom or Ipswich. We lose, and we definitely drop below, at the very least, just Crystal Palace. Potentially also West Brom and Ipswich. It's all on the line. Without further ado, let's get into that big South East London derby. And this is how we're lining up for the game against Crystal Palace here. One change to the team with Charlie Cole get coming in to start instead of Takahiro Nakai. Uh, Retzos a little bit tired, but I think he should be okay for now. I'd rather him start and bring him off than, you know, just him not play, to be honest. He's, just, he's been too good. He was mad at match last game as well. He's got to start. Strong team, hopefully, get a result against Palace here and stay top of the table. Corner, Charlie Colker early on for Charlton, whipped in and rets off headers into the side netting. Strong start for Charlton, quickly getting an opportunity there. Charlie Colker another corner into the box and, and then Ludu's header pushed onto the bar and it drops down to Eric Martel to tuck it home, but it's been disallowed. The German centre-half so close to his first goal for the club. It's chalked out, however, the score remaining nil-nil, but we are very much on tops in, in the early proceedings here. Free kick, Ryan Manning takes and it's well saved by Butland. Martel collects it though, gets it back to Manning, to Rachel, to Martel, to Rachel, shoots over the bar. 30 minute mark. She's going to make a, a little audible here. Placetta and Vidovic not playing the best. Going to switch Vidovic onto the other side. Inverted winger support. Placetta playing inverted winger instead of winger as well. Bringing them both inside a bit more. Manning to Placetta. 
Building up from the back here, perhaps, but it's intercepted. Gooey on the ball now. Cork. Mike on. Make on. Cole Will. Cole Will at Crystal Palace, I forgot to say. He decided instead of going to Cholin, going to Palace. I really do want to beat him today, especially. But it's Palace going forward right now. Lella to Bowler to Hughes. Cork. Cork. Back to Levi. Cole Will. Cole Will. Finds a way to make on. Through ball to Elise, who taps it past coming. And thankfully, just wide of the post there. And then Dudu on the ball. Gives it away, though. Mike on, on the ball. Elise, Elise to Bertrand. Bertrand back to Colwell. Colwell to Gooey. So many former Chelsea players. Colwell, Cork. Mike on. Colwell. Make on. Hughes. Make on. Ryan Bertrand. Ryan Bertrand. Make on. Levi Colwell. Cork. Palace waiting for an opportunity. Being patient. Cork. Make on. Elise. Elise passed its man, dribbling through, has a go and hits it over the bar, thankfully. They can shoot from there all day long, as far as I'm concerned. And half time, it's nil nil here. Pretty even game. We've had more shots, they've had more possession. Could still go either way, lads. Just keep going out there. We're looking good, we're playing well. Keep going. Peretzos, not going to keep going. Very tired. Like last game, Martel playing more ball playing and Dino Sameo coming in in that central defensive role. Okay, 50th minute here. Before I, I sub anyone else up, I'm just going to switch Placheta and Vidovic back around. Vidovic a bit more attacking and Placheta, does he really have to be winger? I'll try him as an inverted winger on attack. See how he gets on there. Right, 60 minute mark. Change has got to be made. Vidovic, the worst game I've seen him play. He's 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 going to have to make way here as well as Placheta. Placheta making way for Jude Sunset Bell. Going to play more of an inside forward role. And Vidovic going to make way for Edwin Anderson. Edwin Anderson likes to be just a normal, good old-fashioned winger. And who am I to deny the Swede those simple pleasures in life? Crystal Palace have a corner here. Michael Elise is going to take, whips it in. And Jack Cork headers just over the bar. I assume that's Jack Cork. He headers just over the bar, though, thankfully. At least they on the ball. Gets Ian Martell intercepts, though, to Byram. Edwin Anderson taking it forward. Cross blocked. Um, goes to Elise. Cross in. Samayu clears well. And then Dulu gives it away. Elise is on the ball again. In the box. Oh, no. Bloody hell. He scored. 92nd minute. 40 seconds left to play. And we've given a damn goal away. So poor there in these closing stages. Full time. Oh, oh, that's that's annoyed me. We played so well. I'd have taken the point. Uh, Ryan Manning with a five point now. I, I'm quite angry at Ryan. You're going to be getting a fine because I don't know what to say. Nil nil. A ninety second minute goal to lose with 40 seconds left to play just needless needless to give the ball away needless to let him go forward and just like that we slip down the table losing to our rivals having them go above us i mean where 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 is he ryan manning he's wanted i'll sell him i'll do it i'll discipline him for a poor performance he should find a weak wages you don't want to show up this week fine but you're not getting paid for it Oh, disappointing. Thankfully, you know, a relatively easy game against 20th Peterborough. Hopefully, next, you know, off camera, I'll get a win there. We can get some form going again. But this is how we're going to end it. This episode, second in the table, on goal difference behind the Palace. Still, you know, bummed to not be top anymore, but second place, really good considering we're predicted to finish 12th. So, not too many complaints as we end today's episode. Next episode, we will be back. Let's have a look at the schedule. Uh, sometime in December. Uh, unsure. Probably the start of December. Maybe Portsmouth and Stoke. Maybe Stoke and Preston. And then the episode after that, we'll do January transfer window games, I think. Uh, but we'll see. As we end today's episode, I do hope you have enjoyed a strong start to the season. Hopefully, 
we can continue it going forward. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and thank you for watching.